Hey, it's Mel from Annalise and Mel's Mummy Mayhem. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Uh, sorry it's been a little while, but unfortunately with new baby and everyone's had illnesses, um, it's been quite hard to get everything sorted. Um, unfortunately Annalise can't be with us because her partner's not very well at the moment, so uh, we'll be doing another video shortly. Uh, today I thought I might take this opportunity to show you my fish chair. Um, and also to do what we are going to do for a little while, which is called Pimp My Pish Chair UK. Um, now that's about accessories that you can purchase online, on Facebook, things like this. Um, and that you can obviously make your push chair look a bit different because obviously we know as mothers there are a lot of different push chairs out there on the market. Um, and obviously sometimes you want something a little bit different. Um, other times you just want obviously the accessories that goes with the push chair to make um, mummy's lives and, pa and father's lives a lot easier on your travels, especially if you have, um, you know, other children that need beakers in the push chair and obviously these accessories that hold other bits on the push chair, do you know, because obviously shopping, the baskets aren't always that big. Um, my basket, as you, um, you can't really see it at the moment, um, but this is the Solo T. Uh, it's actually in camel, so it's got uh, the camel hood with the black um, seat chassis. Um, the basket's not very big. I can just about fit my adapters uh, for my car seat in there. Uh, well, not my car seat, my little boy's car seat. Um, the rain cover which I've got down here and that's really all I carry under there. Sometimes my girls tend to try and shove their bags underneath but it doesn't always work. Um, so today I'm going to show you some awesome, absolutely fantastic things I've um, got over this um, festive period. Brilliant for this kind of weather as well. Uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to have a sip of my tea in my lovely Channel Mum mug. Just love it. Absolutely lovely. Right, I'll just pop this on the floor. Now, what we have here, these accessories are from Fur Coats No Nappies. No Nappy, should I say. And these are absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot recommend her enough. Um, she's absolutely fantastic. This is a hood. Uh, this is a, a hood trim, um, fur trim. So this goes around the hood. I'm going to show you how easy they are to actually pop on. So so easy. This is what I've done with my push chair. Obviously, everyone else's push chair is slightly different, but you can just hook it underneath. They've got elastic bands around them. So they're attached to the fur trim, so it just literally hooks underneath. What I did is I've actually taken my hood off because it just unclips, because you can actually with with any solo, well actually I think any mummers and puppets, you can obviously order spares, you can change the colour of your fabrics, and um, which is always quite handy if you want to change and not oh. actually pay out for a brand new push chair. So all I've done is I've actually unhooked that and I'm just going to lay this across and I just literally hook that underneath where it actually goes under like this and then clip it back in so it literally stays there and that's clicked. I'm just going to do the other side. So just unhook it again and literally clip underneath and Voila. Now, obviously I have a baby boy, but this is just gorgeous for any, any, it's neutral, it's a lovely colour, it just makes it look that much more special. Now, the amazing thing that I've had, which I cannot recommend enough, and this lady is absolutely amazing, she makes gorgeous, gorgeous hood fairs, she makes these. Now you might wonder what, what is this? Now this is a hand muff for your push chair. Now it literally poppers around your handlebar and that is it. Away you go. So obviously the husbands may not always like to use this 
but it's honestly a godsend in this weather. Absolutely amazing. I don't need to worry about taking my gloves off all the time, to, you know, reaching to get your keys out of there, open the door, or when you're trying to get your purse out of your bag, because your hands, you don't have to, obviously you can put gloves on if you want, but I never do because this is just warm enough. Now, this is so straightforward and simple to pop on. This is what I do, literally over the handlebar. You can see that these have been made and designed to literally clip. You tell the lady um, what pochet you do have, and that is it. And then you just pop it on here, like this. And there is another one in here, which you just, oh, I think I've got it on the wrong one. So just in here, and nope, I've made it on the wrong one. Here, here. You can hear them click in. Here. And here. And I don't know if you can see in here. So that I just popped inside there. And that is how it goes. You literally clip that and you have a hand muff. And it's the most warmest thing ever. Absolutely gorgeous for this weather. And as you can see, my push chair has become an amazing, stylish, not your standard push chair. It's gorgeous and it's unisex. So to be honest, it doesn't matter if you've got a girl or boy, you can obviously accessorise to your content. Um, with the other accessories I do have, I have the Mums and Puppers um, cup holder. So this literally comes, you can buy them with um, with the push chairs as a package. Um, mine came with it because um, I bought this as a travel system when I had first become pregnant with my little boy. So this came with it, but you can buy these separately. I think they're about £18. And this literally hooks on to the side of the push chair. Brilliant. Obviously, if you're walking on your own, probably drinking there, especially in this weather, uh, found out large costas fit in there nicely. Well, my husband did anyway. Um, also, what I do have, and I couldn't live without, absolutely in love with these. I've bought them every, I think actually only started having one of these with my daughter, um, my second daughter, and then I bought this again for um, my baby boy. Now, I have two daughters and there is in here, if you can see, uh, drink holders. It also comes inside, you've got a little pocket here. You've got a zipped pocket at the front, um, which is handy for anything really. Um, money, purse, um, you can put your phone in front of there. It comes with a strap, which you can actually use, I, I don't think I'd ever use it like that, um, to go over your shoulder. Um, and if you want to carry it around singly, you've probably got enough room to fit a nappy in there and some wipes if you're just literally going out for like, you know, an hour or so, pop a bottle of milk in there. So you have, you know, a few bits with you without having to take a changing bag. And these literally, all they do is strap around the push chair handle, like so. So this is absolutely fantastic for any push chair, universal. Um, this one here is by, uh, I think this one's by Holy Gear Baby. Now that one I bought from Smith's Toys. Um, I'm just going to sort out my little boy because I can hear his wind in a little bit. Tired. Um, so that obviously um, is universal so you can get them um, from Smith's Toys I bought this one but I'm pretty sure they have uh, you can get them anywhere. Um, there's loads of different ones on the market. I used to have a different one that I purchased from Boots before. Um, this one I just found a little bit better because this is a bit more withstanding um, for the heavier drinks that I have now my daughters are older. Um, brilliant, fantastic, fit a lot in them. Um, what else I have is this here. Now this is brilliant for your travels when you're in the city or um, your local shops. Um, this is just a little buggy clip 
Now, uh, this one is by Munchkin. I bought this one from my local, sh my supermarket in Sainsbury's. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for it, to be honest. I think it was roughly about eight pounds, maybe, maybe a bit more. Um, but this is massive, and literally all it does is just hooks over the push chair, like so, and you can just carry a load of bags on there because not everyone can fit a load of, you know, bags onto their push chair. So it's quite handy because you do need your hands free at most of the time. Um, and, you know, it can hold quite a bit, as long as you make sure that your baby's in there and it doesn't tip, because the amount of times that happens is untrue. The last thing I've got to show you is um, my foot muff. Now, these are obviously, you can buy them from anywhere. Um, this one, I actually, I did have a black one that came with the push chair. Now, being this colour, it didn't look quite right. It looked too, you know, dark with the hood. It looked odd, like the hood didn't belong on the push chair. So what I did is I had a look round and tried to find one that was from Mummers and Puppers that was matching. But because of the colours now discontinued, um, it was a real, real nightmare to find anything. Um, so I looked on my local Facebook and actually found this one on there. Um, I need to put this through the wash as well, I think. Um, it's lovely in this weather, but this is waterproof. This does everything. This is called Outlast and um, it's actually engineered um, to be really warm, but also not to make the baby sweat. Um, it's really thick inside. You, It's actually recommended to up to four years. As you can see, it is really, really large. Now I bought this literally because it matched my push chair, but I really would buy one now because of how good it is um, absolutely lovely it can actually be zipped off at the bottom so when your child gets bigger um, you can actually still cover them but have their feet hanging out when they've got like their muddy boots on um, so that's a really really good idea but it is so big and he my little boy Charlie has been so snug in this is untrue I've actually taken him on school runs um, without having um, a jacket on he's just like literally in his sleep suit sometimes when I'm on the you know really rushing in the mornings um, but it's fantastic it can also be tightened up by these little bits here so that can go around their head a little bit more so it keeps them warm um, especially in the wind that we've been having lately literally they go on you can hook this round as you can see um, to the back of the push chair, but my push chair, I would have to take the hood off and it doesn't quite do it. Um, but they've designed these to be non-slip, so to be honest, I can put it in there without any issues anyway. Um, you've got the holes here and here, um, so the straps fit through, so it's a five point harness, so which you've got obviously the buckle bit at the bottom here, uh, just there. So it fits pretty much any push chair whatsoever. Um, these actually brand new, I've looked up um, online. You can actually, I think, buy them from Amazon. Slightly different design. This one's an Outlast Alvi. Um, but I know they do, I think, something like little, um, I think, I don't know what it's called now. There's a new design that they've done. Uh, these ones roughly market at about £70. I think it's actually well worth the money. Um, it's quite hard to find this little colour as well to match push chairs, um, but at least I found it. And I literally just lay it in and pop all my buckles through. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now because as you can hear my little monkey. He's getting a little bit restless because he's not really enjoying too much being cool. Sorry, so this is Charlie Bear. Oh, his name's Charlie, just I have a thing where I call him Charlie Bear. So as you can see, this is my push chair. Um, now, I absolutely love my solar. I had one previous with my daughter, Amber and um, I loved it that much that I thought I needed to go back again to get another one because if I'd never thought I was going to have another child um, and I did so I sold it. Um, so this one is brilliant. Um, you can get obviously it to make it into a travel system um, which we have. We have the, um, I think we've got the, what one do we have now? Maxi Cozy um, Carbol I think it's called. 
um, to fit onto the push chair with the adapters that I have underneath. Now it's brilliant. You can obviously, it's bulky, don't get me wrong, obviously you need a big enough car to fit it in the boot. Um, but for these kind of around trips going anywhere, you, you don't need to worry about sort of like the wheels and everything. It does, it is quite robust. Um, but as you can see, that is my push chair and that is how I accessorised it. And I hope you will love it. I hope um, you think obviously what you can do with yours. We're going to do another episode of this or well, another another video soon um, with Annalise's push chair because uh, she has a different brand. So we'll see what she's got as well um, and any extra accessories. So our next update, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Say bye. Say bye.